Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. Good morning to you as well. You look like you're having a fun time. Yeah, I know the drill already. So, what type of fun were you having last night? Ah, uh, I see. So you were just going around town talking to a bunch of people that Lucifer sent you to talk to? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You don't have to pay me. This one's on the house. Yeah, I'll make myself one too. So, who are these uh, people that you... I had to go see about the whole portal thing. Because I know exactly what's going on. Ah, uh, alright. A few of the sins, I presume. That's always fun, right? Going to see the sins in their own circles. How did you get down to those circles, by the way? Because it takes a long while to travel from the pride ring all the way down to those rings to talk to them. So, I'm just curious on how you did it. <laughs> oh, you're a funny human, you know that? I know about your whole conversation with Lucifer. And I know you ate one of his apples. Well, I mean, you weren't really sneaky about it. You kind of ate it in the hallway when I was passing by. And once you took a bite out of it, there was some gold sparkles and particles coming off of it. So I presumed it was a fancy looking apple, and it had some type of magical power. And the only type of power I've seen that was golden, that is down here, is Lucifer. So I presumed that he gave you it. It's alright. I don't think anyone else saw you eat it, so your little secret, it's safe with me. Yeah, don't mention it. So, how is it, having all that power? It's freeing, isn't it? Knowing that you can actually defend yourself down here. Without, like, having the thought of being powerless. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So you did make a uh, little contract with Lucifer. Interesting. So, you own your soul now, huh? No? Then, um, uh, what was the uh, contract about then? Well, I mean, that's not horrible, I guess. Can I see the whistle? I want to see it. <laughs> so, you made a contract with the devil himself for a tiny little whistle like this? Oh. 
Oh, it summons him. So any time that you blow into this little whistle, it will summon Lucifer himself. Especially just like out of blue, where he could do be anything or any, he could be doing anything, is what I'm trying to say here. Just blow this whistle and he'll just like that. Interesting, interesting. You know, for a human, you're very convincing about, like, you know, making contracts with everybody. And, uh, also, just straight up just talking to people. Because if you were normal, not saying that you're not, but you like being down here in hell, so you're a little bit weird. <laughs> but if you were normal... I figured that you'd be freaking out by now, cowering in the corner because you're surrounded by all sorts of demons. But you're not. You're different. That's probably what I like about you a lot, Hell's Wanderer. <laughs> you know, I used to uh, have a lot of power like that. I used to be an overlord. Mm hmm. I used to have a whole lot of power. But. I took a game with a specific devil and I lost. But luckily, the only thing I gave him was my soul. And I got to keep most of my power. Just not the right to my own soul. He owns that. But he ain't really much of a free demon himself. He's also tied up on a leash. So, I mean, we're both kind of in the same boat here. But you still have, you know, your soul. You still have ownership of it. You should be proud of that. Making a deal with the devil himself without selling your soul away. It's not a lot of people that can say that they did that. Uh-huh. You are definitely one of the luckier ones. What I mean by that is, um... When I was still alive, I've seen a lot of people in the entertainment business sell their soul. And when they do, they usually just sell it for power, or popularity, or fame, to be more exact. They would sell their soul to any demon they can, just for that little tiny piece of fame, fortune, love. Having these people look up to them, not knowing that their soul's not theirs anymore. So you can be one of the luckier ones to actually sell your soul to the proper devil. And actually have your soul with you. Yeah, it's a lucky, lucky, lucky. You're just lucky, that's all. I've been drinking all night. What are you on about? It's my duty as a bartender to actually look after the people who have been drinking, but since I'm the only one here right now, well, not now because you're here, I've just been drinking to myself. I usually do that, but tonight I guess I've just been drinking a little too much because my face is a little bit warm, so I might stop drinking for tonight after this glass here. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, what's up? Oh, you... You want to go on another date with me, huh? <laughs> well, I did enjoy myself last time we did go on a date. So I'm thinking the date wouldn't be too bad again. Sure, why the hell not? Uh, I'm not too sure where we would go exactly. But... No, since you brought up the idea, I have a few ideas in mind. That is, if you're up for it, of course. And since you have all those fancy powers now, we can go some places where we couldn't go before. It sounds like a plan to me, too. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting late. Alright, I'll see you later. And, um, I'll come knock on your door and tell you when I'm ready for that day. <laughs> you too, have a good night. <sighs> this human... Always knows how to talk to me. Am I developing feelings? Hmm. It doesn't feel bad to develop these feelings now that they're stuck here, I guess. I guess I'll see where this goes. <laughs> 